Hi there. This um, Snowflakes Accent Puff Paint is a great product and it's it's new in our new uh, Christmas catalog this year from Stampin' Up. But have you have you tried it? Do you have any problems with it? With like with too much of it coming out all at once? I think I've worked around a solution or at least a way that you can control how much uh, gets onto your product. Welcome to Stampin' with Diane. I'm Diane Evans. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It's Thursday, and this is the day that I focus on tips, techniques, or tools. So today, I want to show you a card that I've made with the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint, but also a way that we can actually control how much is actually getting onto our project. Um, over the last... A uh, couple of weeks I've showed a card where I've used it as actually snow in the snowman's card. I've also done it as a flower accent on this particular card. But today we're going to use this, the Peaceful Bows bundle um, that comes with the, the dies and the bundle. And I'm going to show you a way to make it into looking like snow. Up here in um, Kamloops, usually when we get snow, it's a light fluffy stuff because we're a little bit colder. But when we do get a wet snow, our tree branches just come laden or they're just so much snow on them and they're absolutely gorgeous. So that's what's inspired me to do this card. I wanted to get that effect of the snow being on the branches. So what we're going to need to make this card, other than our dies in our, our um, stamp set here and the puff paint. We also need, um, we're gonna use Mossy Meadow and that is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So we'll just fold that in. And again, why do I keep forgetting my, my bone folder? Anyways, we also have another piece of Mossy Meadow and it's four and a half by five and a half. And what I've done with that is I have taken my dies and I've lined them up and used it this way. So you just gotta get this on here a certain way. Like so, of course turned over properly. And with this as well. And I've already gone ahead and cut those out. So we have those. And then we also need a piece of very vanilla and it's four by five and a quarter. And then we also need some early espresso. This is one and a half by two and three quarters. And we also need some gold foil and it's one and a half by three and three quarters. And I've gone ahead and I've already gone and cut all of these out, but with the gold, I lined up this die and then the two pine cones, the outer parts of the pine cones like so, and I've run that through. And then with the, Early espresso, I just went and I took this one, the back parts of the pine cone, and just cut those out. But like I say, for the sake of doing this video, I've gone ahead and cut that out already. So I'll just bring in those pieces as such. Okay, so I'm not going to attach this yet because what I want to do is I want to do the puff paint on there um, ahead. So let's do some of the stamping first. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these bows and I'm going to stamp on the front of this card. So we're gonna use Mossy Meadow ink. Didn't show you all the stuff. So we'll just, I'll just show you as we go along. So I'm gonna take some Mossy Meadow ink and I'm going to just line up one of these dies. And we're gonna stamp there. And then I'm gonna second generation stamp it and just stamp it like so. And then I took also this die here or stamp there and I just stamped one generation down here and another generation off of there and I took one and did one down here as well. There we go. Okay. Then that's that stamping. And then I'm going to also on 
the piece up here we're going to stamp our season's greetings so i'm just gonna i'm going to emboss that actually just use the embossing powder and we're going to use versamark ink on that particular stamp and line that up hopefully i can do that with the camera in my way embossing powder and take that and we can ink that up as well or we'll heat that up but we're going to actually we're going to do some heating up all together well no let's let's do that now I'm gonna get that out of the way Again, with your, uh, your heat gun, don't go like this. It's going to take forever, and you could um, get yourself so that you do um, overcook it. Once it starts, it just gets going. So there we go there. It's a little warm, so you might want to turn it around or use it with um, tweezers of some sort. Okay, so we've got that part done. We're going to leave this glue gun close by because we're going to be using that again. Um, okay, we've got that. And then now I think we can kind of put some of the card together. Like I say, I'm going to add this last. So we are going to bring in this, get rid of some of this stuff here. I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. I'm going to put our Tombow glue up here in the corner. And I have special um, sponges that I use just for my glue. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to put, bring these in here. I'm going to put the gold um, pine cone onto the back earliest vessel base. line that up and by doing it this way you're not going to get that residue of the gold coming through and then your card getting stuck to the envelope or getting stuck to other things this just gives you a moderate amount of the glue on there but make sure that it stays on there line that up there Oops. the only thing is when you do it this way you don't get as much wiggle worm wiggle room with um putting them the dies and that sort of stuff on. So I'm going to take this big bow. We're going to attach it the same way. Okay. We're going to attach that up here. Oops, I didn't show you one other thing that I did. Okay, we'll do that first is I also have that gold delicato ink. Um, this ink is selling out very, very quickly in the and in the holiday catalog, and they're not replacing it. The copper's already gone. As far as I know, this gold is still available. And all I'm doing is I'm just going around and I'm putting this onto these branches, and that's just to give a bit of extra pop on there. This would have been better to do this at the very beginning, that is for sure. Oh, well, we're going to leave it like that. I'll make sure I do the other ones before I attach them. So let's move this out of the way here. So let's put this on about here. It's just going to go down flat. Now that I've got these where they don't have all the glue on, let me just go and ink this up. And it's just a direct paper adds a bit of it it's it doesn't pop it's not super super shiny but it just gives just a bit of definition onto these sprigs on there there's that one and I'll do it also with this other smaller one as well should have done that on the bigger one that's okay so it makes every card unique right okay so I got that on over the place so I'm going to use this here and we're going to use the 
this one here. I'm going to just put this sprig up here. Now I can move that out of the way. And then when we put this on, we're going to actually um, put this on with dimensionals. So we're going to use the little dimensionals. And because it's easier, I use my take your pick tool. We'll just put those on some of the spots on the back of these. And even some of these might even be a little bit too big, so I think I'll cut that in half. There we go. And put this here. And then we'll put this piece on up here to match right about here. There we go. Okay, so take those off there yep. I don't know I probably could have used the black dimensionals on here um, but with it being a light base card I wasn't too sure about that so then I'm just going to put this here and you're going to see that it's going to pop up a bit and this gold piece here Actually, I guess I could use a bit of that on there. And we're just going to lie that in under here. Right about there. Oops, I want that down a little bit further. There we go. There. And again, we could, um, we're going to take our snowflakes. I mean, our snowflakes. Why do I want to keep calling them snowflakes? Our um, pine cones, and we're going to pop them up. And because they're bigger, we can use the bigger dimensionals. Do it here. I'm going to put this here and this one here. So we've got a bit of dimension on this card, um, and it probably would be enough. But I really wanted to get that um, effect of the puff paint. Now this is where that other part of the trick is going to come through. Looks like there we go. Get those cleaned off there. So on this, I want it like a sign. So I'm going to put the puff paint, and I'm going to go a bit on the top where it's off to one end. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so you shake it like crazy, and I want to do this, and I'm going to put this. I've got it coming out all over the place. I'm going to do this over top of my silicone mat because I don't want it all over my work. So we're going to do it here. And this can be a little bit heavier. But I want it along the edge so that it's sort of stuck up to the top of the edge, like the sign part. Does that make sense? But we want that there. It's probably going to drip down a little bit, but that's okay for this one. So that's where, where that one's going to go. And then on here, we're going to put some, whoops, see what I mean by it coming out so fast. So what we want to do is this is where I want to show you this other technique. So what I did was I just took some of this and I put it onto a a um, spare piece of paper. And I just took... It, this is a dead pen, by the way. Lord only knows why I've got a dead pen around, but I thought this will work perfect for it. So all you're going to do is kind of put these in strategic spots where you figure the snow is going to hit. And this way you don't have it gobbing out all over the place, but you've got it where it's going to be in certain spots where the snow would actually rest. So usually right the bottom of branches or right in the groove of some branches. Um, let's see, we can always go back in and add a little bit more, but here. But if I tried doing that just from the spout, it would have just gone all over the place. 
Hmm. Let's see. We're going to try that for now and we'll see how that works. So we're just going to bring in our heat gun. And I'm going to do this sign first. The old stuff that they used to have, you could actually let it dry and it would give you a certain effect when it dried, but I noticed with this one, it doesn't give that same effect. Let me get that all over the place if I bring that in there. So see, I've kind of got it where it's, it's like a sign. Now I'll bring in this part of the card. One thing, I don't know if you know it, but when you do an adhesive um, and you put heat on it, that kind of takes it away. So this is why you kind of want to use the Tombow glue where you can with this on this on this snow puff paint. And I think I'm going to probably have to go back in and do some more on there. Or if you want it to just be kind of a subtle thing. I'll play with that a little bit more before I post it onto my, um, onto the blog video. Um, I will be posting all my dimensions onto the blog, vid um, onto my blog page as well and giving a link to that as well. Um, now, this is where I did something just a tiny bit different and I went and I took this gold foil ribbon and I wanted a cord going through it. To me, it just didn't seem right with the sign with nothing there. So I went and I took my ribbon scissors and I cut off this end here on the foil. And also the reason I didn't do this before was because this ribbon actually, it melts. So I've already cut a piece off it there, but it does melt when you use the heat gun with it. So what I did was I just put this through here. Oops, that in under the camera so you can see that did it there and this all these extra pieces we're just going to get off of here anyways I've got all that glue on me there we go and now it's sticking to my hands okay and then we're just going to put this through here like so just pull that through hopefully we got that where it's right see how that's sticking to me okay so there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dimensionals on there to keep it in place. And you'll see what I mean by doing this, that it kind of just gives a different effect. I wanted, I wanted some gold on there, so shoot. Let's just put that back in there again. I want to do that it's not going to do it yeah that has never happened to me before but what we'll do is I'll get this I'll twist it and get it in there if my fingers weren't so sticky with all that glue I'd be okay doing this and it wouldn't have come apart You know what, I'm just gonna take that off and we're gonna do another piece of that. I think that'll work better. Um, you won't see this or have see me struggle as much. So all I did was, like I say, I just cut this off like so. It really is not that difficult to do, but I just made it look very difficult, didn't I? Very stubborn, I want it I want that look on there, so I'm just gonna cut that off there. Now, hopefully I can get this on without it sticking all to my fingers. There. Oops. 
better piece to put through, so I'll just do it that way. Boy, that piece just does not want to go in there. And like I say, I really had no problems with doing that at all before, so... You know, I am going to steal this off of this card to show you the effect. <laughs> well, maybe we won't even be doing that. So I will fix that up as well. So what I've done is I'm going to pop this off with dimensionals. Sorry about it all over me. Okay. So do you think I kind of got that sign effect? I kind of did. I think I did. Be better with that gold coming through. I'll get that fixed and I'll show. I'll give the proper picture on that um, on my blog. Anyways, we're just going to use our snail and attach that to the front of the card. So there's the card. Now, if you can think of any other ideas of what to do with um, this. Snowfall Accents Puff Paint, leave a comment below. I'd really appreciate to um, hear what you have. Um, it really in does inspire me when you come up with those ideas and that sort of stuff. But there's our card. Um, here's the one with this behind there. I think it adds a little bit, but I'll, I'll get that put on there for this card. But if you, um, like I say, if you do have any ideas what how else to use this puff paint, leave a comment below. Also, give me maybe the thumbs up or the thumbs down, obviously, because I am all thumbs and fingers today. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.